For our project, we decided to create a product that would help the NeuroMaker hand use a mouse. In this new age of technology, computers are used everywhere, and along with them, the mouse. We first thought of designing a whole new mouse that could easily be used by the NeuroMaker hand, but after looking at a project that had a finger extension to play the piano, we decided it would be better to have an extension on the hand instead. This extension would be detachable and easily modifiable to fit anyone's prosthetic hand, not just a NeuroMaker. After we came up with this idea, we brainstormed ways the hand could hold the mouse. We decided to use magnets. With magnets, you can pick up the mouse and move it around without having to attach a bulky build to the prosthetic and the mouse. Once we figured out how to mount the hand to the mouse, we started thinking of ways the hand could click. We settled on making the product, product block off finger joints but the last. By only allowing the top joint to bend, the neural maker can easily click the mouse. As a result, the product empowers the neural maker hand to hold the click, hold and click a mouse. This is our final product. This is the finished product. Um, there's the front, there's the back. Yeah, that's okay. This circle is where the magnet goes. The magnet fits perfectly in there and it would just be taped down or glued down. And the other magnet would be attached to the mount. And that's how it would attach to the mount. And these holes, this is where the fingers go through. This is the top end and this is the bottom end. So the base of the fingers go through here and it would attach to the top part of the hand. Um, this separates the fingers. So then the pointer and middle finger would click the two different sides of the mouse, the right clicker and the left clicker. And, I, and this part over here blocks the finger joints from bending all except for the top one so then it, it will be able to click the mouse okay this is the first prototype the printer messed up while printing it so there's this line going through it also it was hard to get the support out which is why it's still there this is where the magnet would go um the problems with this prototype is that we made the finger holes too small for the narrow maker and it's also kind of long. And see, it's too long for my fingers, for the top joints to bend. Also, this area is kind of thick. So I don't know if the NeuroMaker fingers would go over that part and be able to clip down. But yeah, so in the next printing, we'll change it so that it's easier to take the support out. We'll make this skinnier and we'll make the holes bigger and we'll make it shorter.